Are you tired of trying to catch bait only to be left with weeds, sticks, or even getting your net stuck? What if you don't even know how to throw a cast net? Well, worry no more with Amazon.com bait. You can get live bait straight to your door in a matter of a few days. Shiners, Batheads, Crawlads, and much, much more. All right, but seriously, they have live bait on Amazon.com. Isn't that crazy? You can buy live minnows on Amazon.com. And I did. Specifically, I bought these guys right here. Some big, fat, large ones. Four inchers. I've been told that there's going to be some six inchers in there too. Some guy said that he got an eight-inch one. And I also purchased some of these guys right here, the large ones. 250 of them. Fat heads. So these are a little bit slower, but they're great for crappie. Those uh, shiners are, are going to be great for bass fishing and even catfishing. Flatheads will eat those things live, so that'll be great. I've got a big live well. Anyway, let's go outside now. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about it. So anyway, yeah, I ordered like $250, $300 worth of minnows just for the heck of it. See how the delivery goes. Uh, I've got a little cooler, cooler. I've got a little freezer that I've turned into a live well. A live well. I don't really know how the golden shiners and the fat heads are going to live together. Maybe I'll add a little separator in there or something like that. But yeah, I'm looking forward. I, I just want to see how they even get delivered. I guess in a box with a bag, do they put ice in there or something to keep them cool? How many are going to be dead? You know, are they actually going to be four inches long and larger? That'll be interesting. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a really short video if I don't catch a couple fish. So we're going to come on down. We're going to throw this beetle spin a little bit, catch some bluegill. Maybe snag a bass or two. I don't know. I'm not going for anything big. Just fishing in the creek. You have a pearl dad? You have a pearl dad? You do. Check it out. Can you see those whiskers? Yeah, you can see them. Down his gullet. Eating some curl dads at this size. Look at that. Good for you. Grow up to be big. Long ear sunfish. Pretty pretty. All right, anyway, I'll see y'all when the first shipment of minnows comes in. It'll be the less exciting fathead minnows, but it'll be interesting nonetheless. See y'all then. Well, something just got dropped off on the... Seriously? He just drove away. He just dropped it off and drove away? All right, well, talk about perfect timing. Live fish. I don't hear anything moving around in there. No, it's this box right here. Live fish. Let's open it up. All right, here it is. Here's the care instructions on it. This literally just got dropped off. So please note that the fish, tadpoles, crayfish, snails, and some take some time to recover from shipping. Give them a few hours. And if all the fish are dead, email us at this. Got it. Let's open it up. All right, I, I already opened it up by accident without recording. But I didn't look. I mean, I, I did look. But we're gonna pretend like I didn't look and we'll all be shocked. Wow, I see movement. That's what I said last time. And I picked it up like this and it looks to me like there are some live fish in there. So let's take them outside. Let's get a better look at them. All right, I've had them in my uh, live well for a bit. I brought them out here because the lighting's a little bit better. And I don't see a single dead minnow in there. That is crazy. I don't know how they can ship them like that and keep them all alive. Here, let's open it up. I'm just gonna put a hole in the bag and I'll pull one out so we can look at it. There it is, fathead minnow. Little guys, but they don't get much bigger than that. And they're great for the crappie. And apparently these things will breed in my... Hey, look, I got some tiny ones in there too. Apparently they'll breed my live well. So this will be interesting. I'm going to go put them in there. And then I'll uh, see you all in a minute. All right, before I go in, I saw a giant one in there. Did I get him? Oh, yeah. Oh, I dropped him. 
Bummer. Man, these are gonna be perfect crappie. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, look, I got a little bug too. See him down in there? Interesting. Buy 250, get one free. There he goes. Right, I'm gonna go put him in the live wall. Okay, well, those were the fathead minnows, and they're pretty hard to kill. They're pretty tough. They shipped yesterday and they came in today. Do I have a scorpion or something on my toe? Got bit by something. Hurts a lot, actually. Ow. Anyway, tomorrow, I'm sorry, today, the shiners shipped. They're way bigger, and they're gonna take two days to get here. So, I don't know how that's gonna go. When I think shiner, I think something that dies really easily. We'll see. Boom. Two days later, got another box. Anderson Minnow Farm, world's largest. All right, let's get it inside and let's open it on up and make sure they're alive. So I don't immediately see any dead ones in there. It's obviously very difficult to see anything at all. Let me uh, read the instructions and we'll open them on up. All right, so I got them out of the box, and as you can see, they are pretty big. I don't see any dead ones in there. There's a massive one in there, though. He's like, it's... What do you think, boy? What do you think, huh? Yeah, there's a big one in there. So let's go uh, acclimate them really quick, and then I'll open up the bag, and we'll take a better look at them, okay? So some of these are pretty big. Good looking, good looking minnows too, you know? All real healthy for the most part. I saw one floating a second ago. I don't know if that's just cause he was, yeah, there he is right there. He's got no eyes. Yeah, uh, that one, that one, we're gonna take that one out. But for the most part, I am pretty happy. So I'm gonna get these in the uh, live well really quick. I've already acclimated them. And then I'll shoot another video for you. All right, it's raining, so sorry if something falls on the screen uh, or if the audio is awful. So they all acclimated really well. I put them in the live well, and a couple of them did die. I took those dead ones down to the creek just now and tossed them in at some bass, and they immediately ate them. So that was pretty fun to watch. Probably should have recorded that, huh? Oh, the rain makes it a little difficult. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did or if you learned something new, like the video. Let me know what you liked, what you learned. If you didn't like it, dislike it. I don't care. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, 